denizens of diversion. On today's episode, we bring you a game that's fit for a king. When your jester couldn't cut it, being royalty in the Dark Ages was pretty boring. It's a time like these monarchs look to simple games to quench their royal appetite for fun. It kind of reminds me of a different Game of Thrones called Bala Bala. Setup is easy. First, get two thrones of awesomeness and set it like five to six feet from your wall. The crazier the designs and the crazier the stuff, the crazier the shot. Next, get a trash can, set it about one foot away from the wall. Rules are simple, but fun. First, get the ball, hit the ground, hit the wall, and try and get it in the can. Now if you make it in the can, you get a point. If you hit the rim, your noble opponent gets a point. You play 12 rounds, but at the halfway mark, switch seats. But wait, there's one last rule. It's called the Wiley Wallace Ball. This shot switches the point totals. This is how you do it. Get the ball, wrap your arm around your head, and you make it into the can without hitting the wall. You get this shot once per round. Time to meet our kingly competitors. Patrick is first on the board, but King Daniel shows his monarch. One point. Ooh, an embarrassing miss for King Daniel. Score. One point. So close. And King Daniel takes the lead with the extra point. Tie game. King Daniel makes a mistake. And Prince Patrick is pulling ahead, but King Daniel won't relent. Round seven, switch seats. Always loyal, Prince Patrick ties the game for the king. And King Daniel shows his authority. Awesome. King Daniel loses the advantage. Prince Patrick knows he was born to lead. Missed it. Prince Patrick is ready for the throne, but the king decrees not so fast. Missed it. Nailed it. It's round 12, and King Daniel has only one option left. The wily Wallace Bola. <laughs> Prince Patrick takes the throne. Good show, your highness. It is now time to thrash in your glorious I beseech you, become our vessel to learn more games.